Hey y'all, hey, Mandy here, and today we are in a little bit of a different spot. I thought I'd mix it up a little bit and film downstairs in our living room. And uh, today we're going to do a fall home haul. So I'll show you a bunch of things I've recently purchased for the house. And uh, let's get started. Not much more intro with me than that. So the first thing I'm gonna share with you guys is this pumpkin. This is the only pumpkin I've purchased all season because I had enough I like the ones I have and this is a wooden one with a metal uh, stem and leaves and this is from where to get this it doesn't say I want to say it was home goods I don't think it was Marshall's so yeah my only pumpkin I got this year and it's really really cute I actually really like it this usually lives right there on my little bar cart so that is the first thing I got this year. Sticking on theme for home goods, I got several candles. I pretty much ran out of all my candles. They burnt them all up. So I got this one right here, which has decorative glass, which is really beautiful. This is from Times, I guess is the company. And it is a cedar scent and it smells really good. The weird thing about this one is, when I'm burning this, I don't smell it on the floor I'm burning it on. But upstairs, I smell it strong. So this scent really carries high for some reason, which is strange, but it smells really good. Another one I purchased is from Prime Living, and this is an autumn leaves scent. It's got little leaves on the uh, lid, and it's a frosted green container. And this just smells really soothing. I wouldn't say this is what leaves smell like at all. There's like some vanilla in there. There's just something really relaxing about it. It doesn't say what they include in the scent, but it smells really good. Let's see, I've got lots of candles. I think this one's also from Home Goods. This is also from Times. I guess this is their Forest range. Another printed container that looks like wood and this is the maple scent this smells so good it smells like like the best breakfast you've ever had it smells amazing i love this candle i believe there's one more from home goods this is from red leaf home and it is their midnight bloom so this actually has the description on it a blend of soft green florals, jasmine, violet, mandarin, and amber. Mm. This is a woodwick candle. I was burning this last night and Austin was like, mmm, it smells really good in here. He really likes this one. And it does. It smells really good. The mandarin really stands out and just takes it over the edge. It smells so good. And then I have a candle from a local artist. Uh close to a mall nearby here in White Marsh. There's this shopping center thing they call the Avenue and it's just a bunch of stores and restaurants. And one of the empty storefronts was taken over by like a local makers collective type thing. And so I found this there. This is from Carb Candle Co, which I believe is a local company. And this is their s'mores candle. So I have been keeping this one on my desk upstairs in my office since it's really tiny, low profile, and just burning this whenever I am in the zone, just because it smells good, it makes me comfortable, and I can focus on my work, and it smells straight up like s'mores. It smells so good. I love this candle so much. I love s'mores and campfire smelling candles. They're so good. They're like my favorite. Next, we have the Mocha Truffle Candle from the Spice and Tea Exchange. Now this smells really mocha-y. I don't get a lot of truffle, but a lot of mocha. So here's what this one looks like. And this is made with spices and herbs that are actually from the Spice and Tea Exchange store which I got a few spices from. So I picked up this little container of Fiesta, Tacos, Fiesta Taco Seasoning, which is really good. I like that a lot. 
And then we got two larger spices. We got the sweet smoked paprika and the kickin' garlic salt spice blend. So this is really good. I haven't tried this on anything yet. I really need to, but it smells amazing. So that is everything we got there. And we went to the Frederick location. I think there's an Annapolis one. I think they have them like kind of all over the place, but I'm not sure. You would have to check it out online. For the kitchen, I went a little wild and I bought a boatload of the geometry towels and the Halloween prints. And yeah, and now I don't need any any other year. So that's fine. <laughs> that's what I'm telling myself. So by the time you see this video, it's probably a little late to buy the Halloween prints, but I do think they've just released fall prints that are just a little more like leaves and harvesty vibes and thanksgiving vibes so check them out i know they are expensive towels but these are literally the best towels i've ever used in my entire life so i don't know if that counts for anything i just i love these so here i got a little pumpkin print and then we got one with snakes this one has skeletons on it This one has jack-o'-lanterns. You kind of see the pattern there. I really don't need to be folding these as I go, but like every, every fiber of my being is saying fold them. This one has all kinds of just spooky motif type things on it. Really cool. And then this one's a little more like girly, but like with skulls sort of integrated in with the florals. And then there was another one. I think it was just the other one I have is just like skulls, but that's in the laundry room because I got it very dirty cleaning up the kitchen a little bit earlier. So you don't get to see that one. But like I said, these are the best towels I've ever used. I know they're a little pricey, but... <laughs> I just bought like a bajillion of them because then I can use one a day and just toss it when it's dirty and not have to worry about like washing them right away if I don't have enough stuff for a whole little towel load and these absorb like nothing else. It is amazing how easily these absorb liquids and I've just never had a kitchen towel that was that good. which. It seems like such a strange thing to rave about, but that's what I'm doing these days. Is this 30? This must be like to be in your 30s. You rave about kitchen towels. So the next couple of things are some prints that I recently got at the Baltimore Comic Con. And I don't know the name of the artist off the top of my head, but I did save his card. So I will be putting the link to these down below in the description box if you are interested. If you have someone in your life that is into these kind of things so there are two Godzilla prints so here's the first one and I believe these were 16 by 20 18 by 20 no 16 by 20 I think so here's the first one and here is the second one they kind of go together really nicely and my friend is coming over hopefully today to help me find some place to put these since Austin's out of town. I just framed them up and I'm really happy with them. My brother wants to steal them, but I really like these. I also have another print that we just got. Let me see if I can adjust the camera to show you guys because it's behind me. So this print right there is from a different artist at the comic-con as well and i'll also link to his stuff his stuff is a little less interpretations of pop culture things and more like spooky -ooky. and lots of skulls there are some pop culture interpretations but i really liked his skull work so we have one right here and there's like bumblebees and some honeycomb and mushrooms i really love that so that is everything i have to share with you guys in my fall home haul video uh nothing too crazy just still trying to make this house feel like a home we have a ton more wall space in this house than we did in the last one so 
just finding the right art pieces that both Austin and I can agree on. It is so hard for us to both agree that we like something. So it was actually kind of a miracle. We found three things at the Comic-Con, although the Godzillas are kind of a set that we both liked because we just never like the same stuff. But I'm very excited. Am I matching my couch right now? A little bit. That's kind of funny. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, you can give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. And if you'd like to stick around for a while, you can hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, I'll talk to you all later. Bye!